Hi guys, Sourdough Kathy here, and I wanted to take you on a walk around the garden patch today. I have tried to do this two times now, and both a uh, free editing program and my editing program keep crashing, so I'm going to have to do it through my phone. I'll try not to make you sick, so please bear with me. This is the uh, fruit patch, so to speak. There, this is my raspberries here that are doing just great and these are some transplanted strawberries back here and along here and along the front that are doing just fine and sending out runners already even some sweet potatoes I had left over I just threw in there are growing and the rhubarb is looking awesome so what I'm going to do is slowly hopefully without making you ill here which is not an easy thing to do this here is my lilac bush which when i started this video a week ago was full bloomed and looked beautiful but it's still beautiful to me and there is another little one that i keep as kind of a bonsai in a small thing and there it is it's beautiful and my goodness it doesn't even smell like a lilac it smells more like a mixture of lily or something which is a smell that i got when i did some missionary medical missionary work in haiti many years ago so i'm going to spin you around here there's another rhubarb that's uh left over it wasn't supposed to be there i thought i had pulled it all out and now I'm going to head you down to my pumpkin patch where those pumpkins that I didn't know if they'd make it or not, but here they are. They are going ghostbusters in here. There are, and you have to forgive the, the uh, fences. Can't do that. But there are fruits on this. Look, it goes almost the whole length of this. I think six or seven foot thing and another one over here is doing fine I threw a couple peppers in there and I can see there's a pepper on that far one over there and I know there's a pepper on this close-up one even though I pulled the flowers off now not only have I been having trouble with the wild rabbits I've been having trouble with cats my own dog but because of the rabbits, I had to put this fence up over here and we're gonna kind of go into the shade. As you can see, the flowers that I grew are doing just wonderful. There is a cabbage in here that's making a small ball. I'm not sure of how well that's gonna come out, but I had pulled some broccoli out of here because they had gone to seed. And now I can tell that I think I was right because these broccoli here are starting to make little heads instead of sending up 59 shoots all over the place. So, and there's another one here. And then if I go across and pan across over to this one, there's another one that's making a nice little head. And uh, this is another one that, this is that first, very first one that I kept out of the bunch of the ones that I threw away and gave to the worms. I wish I would have kept them now. And here is why I have to put the fence up. Because the rabbit got into this and decided to have some lunch. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Today I found another issue with my um, cabbages also. Now I don't know that much about raising cabbages because I've never grown them before. Those are, these are my uh, lilies here. And as you can see in here, I originally had some broccoli in here and those were the ones that were putting out the 59 shoots. So I got rid of them and it's a good thing I got rid of one of them because it also had a problem somehow they got maggots at the base in the in the root area so i lost two cabbages 
that were the nice ones in the really nice pots on the porch and I lost one here right there today to maggots also I had pulled them out but left the root part in but when I pulled that root part out I found that the maggots had already eaten it now here is another symptom of rabbits there were four original broccoli in here there is one broccoli now whether or not it'll get anything it looks like it's a possibility that it could go to seed i don't know or it may get ahead we'll see but the, the zinnias are just beautiful the um, marigolds the giant marigolds are doing great this is some small purple lilac here i just cut out a big area here because i found out that my lilac bush is being eaten by these little worms that get inside i happened to pull one apart yesterday and inside were little white maggots and i sprayed them with bacillium something or other i can't remember the name right now but uh i just decided to cut a bunch of it out so all right i'm going to take you up now onto my porch hopefully without making you sick because i have a fence here for my dogs and i gotta crawl over it as you can see i was filming today uh Here's the porch, my hanging baskets and flowers. They're doing fine, wonderful. And this is my lemon cucumber that I was so worried about because it was so beautiful in the house. And then all we've had is sun, 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 burning up here in Alaska. No rain for since the first. But this thing is gone crazy, folks. It's just beautiful. And it's getting all kinds of fruit on it. I mean, it's we pulled one fruit off of it already, but it's just it's beautiful, and it's gonna put out. It's producing like crazy. The zinnias again are going great. Now here were the plants I was worried about because everything when I put them in here looked really sick. But as you can see, the parsley is doing wonderful. The calendulas are looking beautiful. The zinnias are looking beautiful. Now the petunias I purchased because my husband likes them, so they're they're doing just fine. And one thing with flowers, you got to remember, always take off your old flowers because it'll keep your other ones, it'll keep the plant producing and, and making it look pretty. Now here's the cilantro, which is doing fine. Some went to seed, so I cut it back. And now we'll, it'll pick up, it'll start showing some other little shoots. Now here is a dahlia, which is almost as tall as me. I started them in the house and recently put them outside. I This is my zinnia that's going really nice. It's looking super right now. And I'm sorry if it's in the shade, but I had to move it in order to film my last... Um, video on my potatoes now as i come over here i'm going to try and do this slowly over here i have carrots in a container it's just like a soda where you hold sodas when people are having parties my son gave it to me so i used it as a, a carrot planter and here i've got some uh, string beans growing in some pots and I also have some uh, carrots in here and I actually transplanted some from the other pot yesterday and they look like they're living they're not dying so that's good I've transplanted carrots before people say you can't do it but I've done it and it works uh, here are some more of those string beans now over here are my big pots of carrots. They're in uh, big totes that I normally have my worms in. And then that this one's in one of those plastic barrels. You can see they're doing fine. 
I had to throw a few more in there for the empty spaces, but that'll do great. Now, this I just did today to replace the um, cabbages that I lost. So we'll see how they come out and see how they'll do. You saw how beautiful they were in the pots and they were getting big. Uh, one of them had a really nice head on it, actually. Now I'm going to try to slowly bring you across here. Now over here I have tomatoes, the single tomato plants that I was growing in the house and little red uh, flower pots, like five inch flower pots or something. As you can see, they all have fruit. These are the sweet potatoes. They're looking really healthy now with some more zinnias down here. Now over here, I have a bunch more. There's three more plants of tomatoes. Sorry if that was too fast. They all have fruit. They're turning red. Um, the ones in the house, oh my gosh, they are just great. But I don't want to take you into the house after this, so I'm just going to skip that right now. Now down here is my poor sick little uh, regular uh, cucumber. But in spite of the fact that it looks so sad, it's making a cucumber on the end. Can you believe that, how resilient these things are? And the new ones that I planted in there have come up, and this one is now starting to send out some new shoots, so I still have some hope for it. Now over here, I have, and I'll try and get my shadow out of the way, we have our hot peppers, and look at the size of this jalapeno. This jalapeno is bigger than my hand. It's incredible. I've never seen that before. And these are the other peppers. I made sure when I, they were really yellow and nasty looking when I brought them out, but they're doing great right now. They are putting out flowers now and I will allow them to do that. Now, look at this mess. See these boards? See this fence? Guess what? Not only did I have the maggots, not only do I have a rabbit, not only did I have a dog chew into my, uh, one of my cabbages, but I had a rogue cat. And that cat decided over there by that pepper, he was going to crap in it and make that his toilet. Well, after the third time, I decided I had had enough, wasn't going to happen again. So I started by putting the boards and I put this fence around it right here. That didn't work. He found a way in and did it the third time. So I finally had to go for this netting. And let me tell you, I cannot get into this thing without straining. So I'm not going to do that. I'll uh, let you so see what's going on. As you can see, the Spanish onions are, look at them. They're tall. They're great. They're beautiful. And they're actually making bowls. Over in the back, there's an acorn squash back there. And it actually has, I hope I, you can see this, some, an acorn squash on it. There were a few on both of them, but they were the first ones are always bad so I pulled them off and here's the other one down here and uh, but the one in the back there has a nice size one on it. now these are two bok choy that obviously went to seed but it brings the bees so I'm leaving them in there now over here I have my squash and no there's nothing wrong with the squash that's normal coloring on these squash that's silver the there's a pepper in the middle there and of course the zinnias are doing fine and right there in the back i don't know if you can see it but there's a nice big fat squash